So, as most of you know, there's two versions of Canvas Workspace. There's one that works in the browser, which some people refer to as an online version. Or there's a downloadable version or a PC based version. And there's pros and cons of using either version. But first of all, I'm going to go to any version. So it doesn't matter what version of Canvas Workspace you're using. And we're going to register the kit. I'm going to head up to my name, manage your account information. I'm going to select premium function activation. And within the kit, you'll get a card with an activation code. So you would enter your code into the box and click activate. Once you've done that, the printer sticker kit comes up within the activated premium functions. So let's get started making some stickers. So the first thing we need to do is set up the area um, that we're going to put our stickers onto. So I'm using an A4 printer, so I need to change my workspace size to A4. So to do that, I'm going to go up to Project, and I'm going to select A4 Portrait. And now the area outlined by the red lines is the area I have in which to place my stickers. So next we're going to go up to premium and you'll see that the printer sticker kit uh, options become available to us. The first icon is paste an image. So you can use any image you like, whether it's one you already have, um, maybe a photo you've scanned in, or an image you've downloaded from the internet. You also get some inbuilt sticker designs which are available through the printable sticker wizard. So we have several um, types of designs. We have frames, one point, border and others. So let's click on a frame design and we'll just have a look at some of these. Now, I like this one. If you make your own beer, this is a really great fun design and all these are customizable so you can change the text within them. We have some for children. We have some um, tags and more labels. You have name tags. So we have some smaller one point designs. Um, so these would be great for planners. So I particularly love this floral frame design and I've used this a lot in my projects. So some cute lips there. A beautiful daisy and a butterfly. So under borders we have more that would be suitable for planners. And you can change the text on any of these designs. And we also have some seasonal or celebratory designs. So St. Patrick's Day, Easter. This is another one of my favorites, the bird and the flower. So maybe let's choose this design and let's customize some text. So I'm going to just click in the bar where it says text and delete off the word spring.
Okay, so I'm going to leave that one at the size it is. And I'm going to go up to Edit and Duplicate. And I think I want to rotate this by 90 degrees just to give myself a little bit more room. Because you want to use up um, as much of your printed page as possible. Okay, so I have some more room on my A4 page. So let's add one of our own images to turn into a sticker. So again, go to Premium. And this time, click Paste Image. Choose a file. And I've downloaded a couple of unicorns. Um, so I'm going to open that. And there's my unicorn. And I'm just going to shrink that down and make that a lot smaller. In fact, so I think I'll make that about two and a half um, approximately, or maybe a little bit bigger. So again, let's add another one of our own designs. And I downloaded another unicorn. And this is a super cute design. And as you can see, it has um, a few separate elements. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to firstly resize it. And I'm going to make a note of how big it is. So it's 2.02 inches high by 1.71 inches in width. Now I want to cut this out all in one piece. So I'm going to go to basic shapes. And I'm not sure whether I want to actually use a circle to put around this. And I think yes, so I might like to use a circle, but let's just compare a square for comparison. And I think I prefer a circle, so I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with the size and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, that circle actually. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than I need it um, because there's something I'm going to do with it in a moment. So first of all, I'm going to select everything by clicking and dragging. I'm going to go to Edit, Align Center, Edit, Align Middle. I'm going to go to Edit and Group. And actually, I think I'm going to ungroup because I would prefer my unicorn a bit further up. So my circle is selected at the moment. So I'm going to right click and send that to the back. Click again on my unicorn and move it up until I'm happy with the position and that looks better. So again, I'm going to select everything by right clicking and dragging and I'm going to go to group. So I think I might be able to fit another one of those unicorns on. If I um, space my designs correctly. And we have a little bit more room. So let's add something in this bottom right hand corner here. So Again, I'm going to go to Premium and let's have a look at one of our inbuilt designs. So let's go to Printable Sticker Wizard. And maybe go to the one, one of the one point designs. Okay. 
and I'm going to select this floral reef that I really like and I'm going to say hand crafted and say okay Okay, so now I have a full page of designs. So the last process is to go to premium PDF. And we're going to create a PDF page that we're going to print off. So I'm going to click on um, where it says untitled PDF. And you'll see that it's downloaded it to my computer so if i click on that this is my finished page that i'm going to print out and you'll notice that the actual images that we've imported from the brother sticker kit already have a nice solid outline which is going to make it very easy for the machine to recognize when we scan and direct cut these out. Now, as you can see, the circle that we put around our little unicorn here is also going to print out. Now we can use this to our advantage. On images like this, we can add any shape, scanning to direct cut, and on images like this, where I've put a shape around them, I can choose an inwards offset, maybe of um, two millimeters, and I will have a perfectly clean sticker. Okay, so that's what I would do with images like that. That's why I've put the circle around it so I can scan that in, create an inwards offset and have a nice clean sticker without any black outline. So I'm going to go to print. More settings. And I'm going to make sure that um, I go to custom and I want to print this at 100%. Okay. Because if I don't and I leave it as it was at 134%, um, you can see that my images are not going to be printed correctly on my page. So always make sure you select 100% and then you can click print. Okay, so if we have a look at the PC version or the downloadable version of Canvas Workspace, we have a couple of extra options. So I am going to first of all change my um, workspace to A4 and in the PC based version we do that by going to Artboard, Artboard Size and select A4 and you can see once again we have our A4 workspace set out for us. So if we go to premium, you'll see printable sticker. And similar to the um, browser base version, you have your um, various sticker categories. So once again, you can change your text if you want to. I'm going to leave that there. But the um, advantage of using the downloadable PC version is that you can use any font. So any font that you've got in your computer. Now you can only do this in the um, downloadable PC version. So I'm going to click my font milkshake and maybe make that bold and say okay. Um, but if I want to duplicate that, that's a bit of a pain in the backside. I have to add another sticker select my cat select my font and 
and I wanted to make that bold and say okay okay yes again I can also add one of my own images so I want to make some other stickers um, so I'm going to go to add an image from my computer and I've given you some um, designs as a free download that I have found so I'm going to select this nice handmade exclusive sticker here I'm going to make this one and a half inches and again if I wanted to repeat that I would have to add another image from the computer add a sticker change the sticker size and drag that into place which is why you can see why um, for creating a whole page of stickers that are all the same I prefer using the um, online or browser based version of canvas workspace so to summarize if I want to um, create something with a custom font I'll use the PC based version of canvas workspace if I want to quickly duplicate and make a whole page of images that are all the same I'll use the online or browser based version so they both have their pros and cons but they work in a very similar way so I'm just going to pretend at the moment that I've filled up my page and I'm going to save this as a PDF and I'm going to save that onto my desktop and save and you will print that in exactly the same way as you did before now you'll notice that with this I haven't been able to easily put a shape around my sticker so that's why for some images such as this unicorn which is made up of several different pieces that are all separate or maybe an image which has a very pale outline which direct cut may struggle to accurately recognize I'll use the browser based version of canvas workspace which enables me to put a shape around my image and the machine can easily recognize that using a direct cut function so there's lots more we can do with the printable sticker kit and I'll add some photos of stickers I've made at the end but they're excellent for journals um, children planners any sort of organization um, so print off labels for your craft room and just have fun with it so I hope that helps and if it has please leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I upload a new video so thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video